Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. Alexis Sanchez has officially joined Inter Milan from Manchester United. Surprise, surprise, as we spoke about that last night, this is going to happen. But look, the, the fallout reverberates amongst the Manchester United fan base because it is still quite toxic this morning. Some people saying we shouldn't be moving him on. Some people saying he should be moved on, but there should have been other players brought in in the summer. I think I would agree with that story more than Sanchez should have been kept because we were a little bit short up front. Um... The interesting thing to come out as well is Simon Stone from the BBC is saying that uh, United will not be moving for any free agents or anything like that. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is happy with the squad that he's got. And this is the sort of line that we have to either believe or not believe, isn't it? Because it's always Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is happy with the squad that he's got. He's happy with the midfield that he's got. And you either believe that and I suppose put the blame on Ole, or you don't believe that and say he's just saying what he has to say because he can't do anything about it. And I think that's the truth, but we don't know. We don't know. Um, but Oli, happy with what he's got, not looking to bring in a, a Lorente or anything like that, which I think actually is the right thing. I wouldn't... Again, I think you're just going for numbers. Lorente was, was cast away by Spurs. Um, yeah, all right, he knocked City out of the Champions League, but I don't, I don't see what a 34-year-old offers Manchester United, to be honest with you. I think it's right that we just go with what we've got and if there are glaring issues this season, then they're going to have to spend money next year. I mean, look, look at Alexis Sanchez and, and his time at Manchester United. You know, I've seen a lot of the videos going around Twitter about me and my reaction saying Arsenal get in the bin, City get in the bin, we've beat you to Sanchez, we've taken another of your best players from Arsenal. It's also very funny to put those clips up 18 months further on and, you know, I've got to sort of laugh at it myself, really. But of course, contextually, it's out of context. Uh, when we signed Alexi Sanchez, I think we thought thought we were signing a fantastic, uh, you know, Arsenal's best player. Thought we, think we thought we were going to get another Van Persie. I think we were very excited that we'd stolen him from Man City, who clearly wanted him. In hindsight, Pep looks like a genius again. I'm not going to... But, but reality is Pep wanted Sanchez. We must remember that. He didn't go for him because he didn't want to spe spend the silly money we were offering. We basically went in with ridiculous money to get the player. I think Sanchez preferred Man City, but he saw the money of Manchester United. He mercenary came to our club and we were mercenary in the way we, we got him. And, it, and it, it failed spectacularly. The biggest flop in Premier League history. No doubt about it. Would he have flopped at Man City? I don't think he would have flopped to the extent he has at United. I think the the, the, the style of play that we play, the, the poor set of players that we've got, the lack of confidence, him on the decline, it, it, it contributed to the, to the to the failure 100% with that. But look, the, the thing is when I look at it there, 45 games, 5 goals, 9 assists, it doesn't read terribly, but it, it's nowhere near what it should have been. And what I would say is that if you think that a, a team on average will play about 50 games a season, he's been here a year and a half and he's played 45. So he's not missed loads of injuries. He's had, he's had, a, he's had a few, but he has played a lot of games and, and, and ultimately he hasn't fulfilled the talent that you would expect. And people would say, well, nine assists is quite good. Um, five goals is pitiful, but... I think we should have been getting a lot more from Alexis Sanchez and we know we should have got more from him. Interestingly, his average rating is a 7, but a lot of that is to do with that the first sort of six months he was here. He did okay. That's where he got a lot of his assists as well. He did okay. He was averaging around 7.5 a game. Last season, it dropped below 7. But let's not forget, when he was an Arsenal player, his average player rating was around 7.8 over every season he was there. He never dropped below that. So we got a far, far worse player than Arsenal got. And, and, it, and it has been a flop. And ultimately, will he be back? I suppose that's the interesting thing. 30 years of age. He's 31 in December. By the time he comes back, he'll be 31 and a half. So um, regardless of whether he has a good season in Italy, for me, the Italian league, I watch a lot of it. I'm sure you do as well. It's slower than our league. I always fancy the English clubs against the Italian clubs because we play, we play at a quicker intensity. They play a little bit slower and they always have done. It's always been a more tactical league. So I think it will suit Sanchez, but I don't think Sanchez should ever be coming back to the Premier League. His game just doesn't suit it anymore. That loss of a yard of pace that we inherited has has cost Sanchez that explosion, that ability to get past the player, the ability to get on the end of a pass. I think in Italy, hopefully, he's going to have a good season because we need to move him on. And you look at the transfer value of 30 million, that will come down again. Some would say he's not even worth that yet now, but £400,000 a week is what he's on for the next two or three years at United. So we're going to have to hope that he has a good season. And for his part, I don't feel any sympathy towards Alexis Sanchez. It's very hard when he's earned so much money. But he will know he made a mistake coming to United as well. He came for the money and he ruined his career. Um, we as Manchester United fans have to live with that. But he as a player has got this opportunity to go and reignite it. And I don't think he wants to come. I think what a lot of people don't understand with this is 
whether United wanted to keep him or not, and I don't think Oli did, even if he did, Sanchez has made it abundantly clear he does not want to be here. He is not happy at United and he wants to go. And that, some would say, well, Pogba's like that. But Pogba's not like that. I think Pogba wants to go to Real Madrid, but he's not making it abundantly clear that he's unhappy and relentlessly trying to move. I think with Sanchez, he is. Um, so this needs to be the end of the end of the Manchester United and Alexis Sanchez journey. Um, it leaves us in a, in a bit of a quandary, yes. I'm excited by that, but look, I'm going to talk about it on the show later. Um, Manchester United need to spend money more. Um, we do. And look, people will say, well, we spent it on Sanchez. That was a bad signing. You should never be giving somebody double the wages of your next best player. It, it was just the deal all round is terrible. And as I've said a few times, you know, you've got to look at the responsibility within the football club itself. Who takes the who takes the blame for that? Sanchez. And there's been loads of deals like this. The amount of managers that have failed. But Alexi Sanchez, the wages that were given, like who is in charge of that negotiation? Who signs that off? Because it's caused loads of trouble. It's caused loads of trouble. And I'm happy he's gone. But um, look, get your comments in below about Sanchez. What do you think about it? I mean, look at when you look at the stats, they're not terrible. They should have been a lot better. But I think it goes beyond stats a lot of the time, doesn't it? And he just wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough. And it's time to go. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Smash a like on the video. I'll scroll up and speak to you all soon.